First question is from RJ Westerman. How many times a week do you need to exercise each body part? Is once a week okay, or do you need to hit each body part twice or more a week to really see results? All right. 32 Let's, times. Yeah. That's the studies they yeah. show. 32 yeah. times a week. Exactly. <laughs> Those, yeah. That would suck. You know what's funny? So I'm going to go over what the studies say, and then well, let's go over our personal experience. Because sometimes, actually I should say oftentimes, the studies don't quite line up mm -hmm. with real life because there's limitations in the studies. In the studies, they typically last 12 weeks or something like that. They're training people for that certain period of time. There's a little bit of self-selection bias for who signs up for the studies. And then you have you know us who've trained regular people for years and years and years. Yeah. And We've so we seen get to all see, the patterns. Yeah, and you get to see it over long periods of time. So the studies say this. The studies say one to three days a week, um, as long as the volume is the same, then you're probably going to see similar results. In other words, if you did 15 sets for biceps uh, one day a week or you spread 15 sets out over three workouts, doesn't make a big difference. Okay, I'm going to disagree with that because in my experience working with people, I would say – Probably 80%, if not more, of the people I work with do best by hitting their body parts between two to four days a week, right in that, right in that range. Most people around three, people with you know who are a little older or less recovery ability too, and people who are more advanced, yeah. about four. Total volume per week, uh, per body part, anywhere between I'd say you know nine to like maybe 21 sets per body part for the whole week. For me, my, I respond best when I can hit my body parts three to four days a week. Even if I did the same volume and I hammered my body parts once a week, it doesn't work the same for me. It just never, it just doesn't. I'm just, it's superior to hit it at least. Yeah, two days I'm a the week. same. And it's mainly for me, uh, it helps me not overreach. Uh, I used to train specific body parts like, uh, you know, once or even twice a week. And I would always go too far. It was just inevitable. I would like stack all these exercises together and really try and get the most and squeeze the most out of, of the muscle potential for that day. And I would inevitably the next day would be insanely sore, which would then impede on my next workout going, you know, from then on out. So that was always just something I started to notice. I just thought it was like, eventually, you know, you didn't get as sore. And so you would keep hammering, you know, and upping the intensity a bit, uh, with the, with the workouts, uh, you know, with that split type of routine. But I definitely am a big proponent for, uh, you know, the, the total body workouts and then having that split, uh, throughout the, throughout the week and spread out. I, yeah. I find two two to three for me. Uh, I, I feel pretty effective with uh, two. Uh, I think three is ideal, and I guess it depends on which body part we're talking about that I find uh, I get better. Like My legs do better with three times a week, mm -hmm. uh, but I could do my arms twice a week and feel like I get I get plenty. So mm -hmm. I think there's going to be that little individual variance per person. Now, and, do, you, and, do you find the same thing I found with clients, that most of them are two to three, four days a week? Yeah, so, and, and, and a lot of that is what Justin was alluding to. And then the other thing is, too, that when you, when you do it more uh, often and less volume per workout, right, so uh, less sets, right, less sets, less reps in a workout, and you spread it out over the week, you tend to do the better stuff, mm -hmm. right? So when right. you do a one day and you say, like, let's say I'm going to train legs all in one day, you know, maybe you squat and you leg press or you squat and hack pre uh, hack squat and then leg extensions and maybe some body weight stuff. Or so you end up doing a lot of these other movements. You're too fatigued. Yeah, and you're, you're just not getting as a big bang for your buck. I mean, when you're if you squat and you're squatting, like, you know, five by five type sets – and then you move over to leg press, and maybe you get after leg press. After that, everything else yeah. that you do afterwards, good luck. You're just yeah. not you're you, you're not you're probably running at sixty percent of what you could probably do if you were fresh going into those movements. Yeah. So, I find that's what I find the most valuable is you end up being able to give more towards better movements when you spread it out over two to three times versus all in one workout. Here's okay, so here's my my whole theory on why you still have people in the you know, the training world that say hit your body parts hard once a week and then it doesn't make a big difference even if the volume is, you know, so long as the volume is controlled. Here's the problem with that. Um, when you have the the muscle building, bodybuilding trainer type people, they place all the emphasis on muscle damage and stimulating muscle growth. When you have your athletic trainers, they place all their emphasis on skill and technique. You would never 
see a basketball coach tell their players, hey, instead of doing one hour three days a week, why don't we just do three hours on Monday? You would never see that because Mm -hmm. athletic trainers understand that technique and skill is better practiced frequently. People who who are in that muscle building space forget that. All they look at is the muscle. Oh, damage the muscle, it's all the same. It's not. You forget that skill is extremely important when it comes to building muscle also because you get to practice the skill of squatting, deadlifting, pressing more frequently. When you do it once a week, it's not nearly as effective. Well, that's why when I you're think fresh I, and sharp. That's yes. why I think I, I, for me, like legs really makes a big difference. Yes. Because you, when you do squatting, of all the movements that I do, for, like arms, there's not a lot of skilled movement, sure. right? So, me getting to do squats, if I spread it out over three times in a week, I might get 15 sets of squats in a week. Yep. I will never do 15 sets of squats in one, in one workout. No. That's well, in, and I just that's insane. There's just so many compensations that happen when you're like in that mentality of having to hammer that body part and just keep squeezing the most, you know, that you possibly do. And to 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 speak to like the skill and the technique, like you lose that very quickly once you know you you don't you're not rested and and, and you're not fully in good composure. And so uh, you're going to end up developing bad patterns uh, going forward when you're going to you know repeat this exercise and so Mm -hmm. from yeah like maybe that is more from an athletic perspective but even if you know for your common person that goes into the gym like just performing that same lift like you're you're just it's going to downgrade your quality the average person would do so much better if they stopped looking at their workouts as ways to hammer body parts and they started looking them as ways to practice yeah. movements, perfect their. They'll movements. get better results uh, in the short term. They'll get great results in the long term. They'll get superior results. It's like it reminded me when I would see people running, and it, I had this epiphany. I'd see people running terribly, and I think, why do people run so bad and go push themselves? Like, oh yeah, because all they're emphasizing is the exhaustion aspect. They're thinking, I got to go out and get tired. Nobody's thinking, I'm going to go le- practice the skill of running. If they practice the skill of running. They would do far better long term. It's the same thing with resistance training. You're far better off splitting up your volume, going to the gym, and practicing the skill of these lifts. You're going to get better gains, uh, especially long term when you do that. So for most people, hit your body parts about two to three days a week, um, divide up the volume. And again, uh, after training people for years and years and years, it's superior for most people. The people that can be okay with the once a week hammering tend to be very advanced have already gone through years of practicing skills of Advanced exercise. and enhanced. And oftentimes enhanced with anabolic uh, steroids. 